Hello everybody. It is summer travel time, taking your car out and so on. What is a good way, a good seated position? So one, yes, your feet can find the pedal very well. You can see, of course, over and around your mirrors and everything. But where is your steering wheel? So one thing is, I see a lot of people holding on for dear life. You don't need to do that anymore. You, the cars are very good now, this reaction. So you don't need a death grip. It's a soft hand position. And uh, you're having like three, nine o'clock and your elbows softly bent, hands resting there, head supported and you're ready to go. But I see a lot of people like hanging in like this. So you have to seat all the way up towards you and you crunched into it like, oh, like really tight. You may feel good, you feel strong seated and so on, but not a good way. And then I see a lot of people, they're actually almost falling asleep in the car like this. That this hardly just can hold it and just see over the hood. So why is the first position, what I said, a good position for you to travel? God forbid you have an accident. Where are you going to be your hands? They're hardly going to be down there. They're often going to be up there as you make the curve whatsoever. You try to avoid it and you get hit. So a good angle for your joints, your bones to have a good force of it is that angle and your ear back has enough room for you to come. If you all the way forward here again and crunched in towards it, you can just imagine how that ear back is going to hit you and how you just going to have a deeper grip and a deeper back flash in uh, your head and so on. When you lying all the way down there, you can imagine what that kind of force has that towards it. So be smart, take your time, get your seat ready for your travel, have your hands three to nine o'clock, elbows soft, and be sure all mirrors and you can see. Okay, have fun, enjoy your drive. Ciao.